How do you keep track of all the stuff that you actually want to do in your life, especially when you have half a dozen goals, like you're working on your fitness, you're working on some part of your personal development or self-growth, you are working on a new project, like you want to write a book or start a business, or you want to save enough money to take that trip to Europe. Well, in this video, I want to share my exact goal planning and strategizing process because I'm always working on a couple of different projects at once, but I've used this exact method to strategize all my books, all my online courses, how I've launched my business, how I'm writing my next book and my doctoral thesis, and I'm juggling life and medical school and business. And I'm going to walk you through my exact Evernote flow to keep that organized. Hey guys, Alex Hine, author of the book, Master the Day. Now, the first link in the description there, I've included a goal-setting worksheet. So this goal-setting worksheet is the primary way that I plan my goals for the year. And then I use this Evernote flow I'm going to teach you here today to plan my goals daily and weekly with a journaling exercise. So if you'd like, click the first link in the description, download that free worksheet, and I'll also show you exactly how I use that to plan out my goals for the year. So I want to share really what my big life goal is now at this stage of my life. Like now that I've quote found my passion, which is Chinese medicine, because it resolves my lifelong digestive problems and I want to bring that to the world. So I want to become one of the greatest Chinese medicine physicians the world's ever seen in history. Now that is obviously a big goal and maybe that sounds egotistical, but I genuinely believe I can do that because of my work ethic and my love for the field. But how do you actually do that? Right, Because behind every Olympian or every person we admire or respect, there is a shitload of strategy. You do not become the best by accident. You do not become the best by just showing up and working hard. There is a lot of strategy and work that goes into that. So, you know, behind all these things, there are certain intuitions and feelings you get. Where do you put those? There's ideas you get. Where do you put those? There are mentors you want to learn from and all these conversations you have and all the advice you've gotten. Where do you put that? And then there are the lessons you learn during the mastery process. Where do you put those? For me, the way I organize all of that is with Evernote. And no, this is not sponsored. I just use them daily, religiously. So really the three things I use Evernote for are projects. So for example, I'll go into it more, but like organizing a new project you're working on. For me, that could be a new course. Ideas. Like, for example, tracking intuitions or things like you want to work on this year. And then goals. So long-term goals that take months to years, you need to be tracking weekly action steps. So how do you keep that all in place? For me, Evernote is the place to do it. So here's an example of how I use Evernote for working through a project and keeping it organized. For example, in terms of using Evernote for projects, this is the way, for example, I'm organizing my doctoral research. So I'm writing my uh, doctoral research on people that were diagnosed with terminal cancers that then had spontaneous remissions. So there's a lot of pieces and parts of this puzzle that I've got to work on. Uh, there are all these people that I want to interview. So I've had individuals, I've had physicians here. I have a list of online databases for people that I can actually interview. I've got the next steps listed out write 500 words a day in my thesis, uh, come up with my argument, watch survivor stories, compile all my resources, um, some intuitions I have, some questions to help me ask different or unique questions, uh, resources from other people, things I'm going to use for saving my research, so Mendeley and Zotero are for saving biomedical research like on PubMed, um, and really just some initial research, preliminary research I found. But this is a good way to use it for actual projects that have a lot of pieces. You know, even with this, I even then link it to a, a Google Doc, which has even more resources. So basically, it's having all of these things in one place. So with a complex thing like this, you know what actually has to get done, all organized. Here's how I use Evernote for organizing my actual ideas. So the next one is an example of how I use Evernote to plan out ideas. So we talked about projects, which is like a long-term thing that takes time, but then it's finished and you can archive it. 
for ideas, like for example, some of you don't know that I'm moving to California after I graduate next year. I'm opening my medical practice there, probably in LA because I have family there. And there are all these things that I've thought about in my life that I want to be doing. Things that I'm not maybe doing a good job of now or ways that I want to live differently. And so, for example, I put down random ideas about things I want to do. Go to this awesome WeWork location. Hire a videographer full-time to go 10x harder. Um, Go to these seminars. Create new goals that revolve solely around Chinese medicine, my passion. Um, These are other things I want to work on. Get a book deal, coffee meetings, redo my finances, give 10% of my income to charity. Like, these are all specific experiences I want, ideas that then I can add or I can remove from. Um, I also have like the year of fun. I have the boroughs and neighborhoods with the most coffee shops. So I can plan that. I have sample apartments. I have the one bedroom prices based on the neighborhood. I have doctors I want to meet. I have, so I just have all these other things that are ideas and they're specifically Just in one big document so I know where to refer to it. And here's how I use Evernote for actually organizing myself around a long-term goal. Like me wanting to become one of the best the world's ever seen in my field. Now this final one is a way to organize goals that take a long time to reach. So this is my quest to become one of the great Chinese medicine doctors in history. So really is my primary big life goal in the work quadrant of my life. Now, there are all kinds of things I want to do with that. I want to have this big online brand that helps educate people. I have this document starts off with affirmations and intentions of who I want to become and really what I'm working towards at a high level. There is this quote about, you know, the physician that doesn't know how to treat the illness has not reached their highest level. Um, The vision of what I want to do in person and online all these ideas for how I can improve and the products and services I've liked in other people, other companies, um, how I'm going to juggle where, like where I want my life to be ambition wise and how I can just be humble and focus on becoming the best and not looking for notoriety or recognition. The bad experiences I had with other Chinese medicine doctors, you know, so the good, the bad, the ugly creative marketing ideas, the mentors that have helped me the most, And it's really about having your vision and your practices and everything you're trying to build, including interviews, all in one place. So you can track something that's a very long-term difficult goal. All right, guys. So I hope that helps you. I literally use Evernote over 10 times per day. Every piece of a goal or an intuition or a project gets categorized so that all my thoughts, all my experience, all my impressions are in one place and I never have to refer anywhere else. And then everything's interlinked and it really seems complicated, but it makes a humongous goal or project really easy to keep track of in one place. Now, of course, click the first link in the description if you want to check out that free goal setting worksheet. That's how I plan my years and I use Evernote to plan my days or my weeks. And also when you click and download that, you're going to get a free email every few days on how to use my specific goal setting advice to totally reinvent your life. So check that out, the first link in the description, and then check out my last related videos there and there.